Hello there fellow summoners, Mad Dog HT here. We're going back into this month's event quest. This is chapter 2.2 with the Juggernaut boss. So he's got Feet of Indestructible 2, so you can't do any damage for like five seconds. Yeah, five seconds after you reach two bars of power. He's got aggression prowess, so you gotta be um, hitting him to make sure you don't let him build up too much of that prowess, but it doesn't really matter as long as you don't get hit. Because those unspecials are fully unblockable with that unblockable node. It's got an offensive specialty node where if you dex you get a prowess um, but you do lose some block proficiency and then it's got power snack. So first up we're gonna go in with um, the overseer. So this guy is one of my newer rank threes and I'm really really enjoying this, this, this champ. I really wish um, I could have had him awakened but We'll get there someday um, but even without the awakening he's still pretty solid his, he does get um, some extra damage though if you do get him awakened um, he is nullify immune so that means power snack doesn't mean anything you can dex around you can get the regen buffs and all of that um, without any fear of giving juggernaut extra power gain um, so I, right there i miss i miss a special evade um, again, all the specials fully unblockable, so you do need to be on the, on your A game with dexing those, um, especially if you are dancing around and letting those aggression prowess build up. It could be a problem if you get hit by one of those. Um, and then, you know, if you don't have a way to deal with the unstoppable from his specials, you're gonna have to dance around. He's, you know, he. he Juggernaut is stun immune when he has an unstoppable buff up, so you can parry, but you just won't be able to stun him. Um, and the aggression prowess, it's not its not the worst. Um, you know, if you got like aggression fury and stuff, it's, that, that's kind of a worse note because you can just get damage, um, you know, over, you know, getting hit in the block and all that kind of stuff. But, um, if you let too many of those build up and you accidentally miss a dex on a special, which really a special one is probably the one that I would maybe get tagged more most by, if, I, if any, because uh, special two is pretty slow and it's easy to get out of range. Um, that special one, you do have that ground that he smashes um, that he comes at you, so you have to be right on the timing on that. Um, and then you can see there, every time he throws a special, he gets a special concussion debuff and on that last special he threw because of the special concussions he actually did not get the unstoppable so it's it can only i think it maxes out at seven which he has right now so it's 10 percent per so i had 60 percent reduction on his specials and he didn't get the uh, unstoppable on that last one you know it's a 30 percent chance he still got it so um, but it's pretty cool ability, um, and yeah, here I'm just, see I've got the unstoppable again, and we're just going to wait out this last one to get tagged, um, and then I think we're going to finish him off here with a special too. So Overseer is a, no, nope, not quite there. So Overseer, he is a solid option for power snack, um, and yeah, you can totally, totally ignore the node other champs you know I'll be using thing on this next round but like um, mr. negative spider-man 2099 red guardian those are also other good options to deal with power snack because you don't get buffs or you can't get power snacked um, so next up we're going in with thing so thing is nullify immune he is like he's my he's my champ he's my man he will be my first rank four as of right now. If I could just get that last little tiny bit of tier three alpha, he would be going up. Um, and yeah, I use him all the time. I love him. And yeah, so we're gonna go in, we're gonna be building up our rock stacks. I do have Human Torch on the team, which is going to allow me to build up my rock stacks faster. So I won't have to wait out any of the um, the rock stack timer. If I get to 20, if I do another parry, immediately those rock stacks will get converted and be put into my fury bank all the way up to 60 max. And the nice thing is, is boom, 
right there. So you can see he had an unstoppable, but because I threw any of my special, special one, two, or three, if I throw it, I get that, um, I don't even know what it's called, to be honest. If I can't think of it right now, maybe I'll go check that out really quick. Yeah, so it doesn't even have a name. It's just you know, that little blue icon, the light blue icon. When that is up, you can nullify any unstoppables. So it's really, really nice to have against Juggernaut. You know, anybody that has unstoppable, you can just hit into them. You know, somebody like uh, Kingpin, you can get rid of that unstoppable um, really easily with a special. So you're going to see that... Um, I could have been throwing a special there, but I was using a bunch of parries. Now I have max rock stacks built up, and we're just gonna keep going to town. I do get a um, incinerate and weakness on the special one when I'm at max rocks. Well, max rock stacks for the weakness, and then um, on a special one because I have a synergy with torch, I get that uh, incinerate debuff. Here I'm waiting out the indestructible and then we're just going to try to bait a special from this guy. His prowess is building up quite a bit and then boom we kind of just do a dash back and then launch our special again because we have that little blue passive unstoppable nullifying um, buff. Um, we, can, we can get rid of those unstoppables and hit him freely. And yeah, we're just gonna keep smashing this guy. Pretty simple fight. Um, we can get rid of his unstoppables. We uh, don't have to deal with power snack. And you can be pretty, it's just pretty normal gameplay to take out this guy. And I think we're gonna finish him off right here. A little dash back into a special, nullify the unstoppable. And there he goes thing doing his thing so we get the solo there I'm um, gonna move on to the next next battle which is gonna be torch so as everybody knows torch slays pretty much all mystics no problem we're gonna apply the pre-fight we have thing on the team which is gonna help with our temperature we're gonna start out with two smolders from the synergy and now we do have to um, care about power snack um, any buffs that we generate which will basically be from either a, a dex um, or from me throwing my special two because I have thing on the team I do get a fury on the special two um, I'm not too worried about that I'm gonna be doing a lot of blocking a lot of parrying um, and then a lot of medium light mediums uh, you know because he's a mystic I really don't need to charge my heavy him hitting into my block is plenty enough and medium and light attacks give less power to the defender than a heavy attack so I'm I'm generally throwing just medium lights um, as whenever I can um, just because I have to deal with less power so now we're at we hit the feet of indestructible no worries we do need this guy to throw there we go and now after he's thrown even though he has a whole bunch of aggression prowess is just on the special so you can still be blocking um, and not have any problems there we do get that fury which gets nullified gives them some power gain from the power snack and then we're just gonna kind of slow this slowly play this out we're you know if he throws a special great if he doesn't which he actually does not and we're just gonna slow play it we take a block give him a hit take a block give him a hit every time he blocks uh, we block that we get a, a smolder, increases our incinerate damage, and he just melts. So he threw one special that whole fight. Torch, he's great. I would love to rank him up to rank 4, but I feel like I'm not going to be able to get to use him because so many people are going to be banning him for Alliance War. But yeah, anyways, we're going to go with Thing. So next up, um, we're going to go with She-Hulk. Now, this fight goes terribly wrong and not because She-Hulk isn't a great counter um, I do have Mr. Fantastic on the team to give the power stings for each debuff that I have put on him caps out at three which can do some crazy damage if you get She-Hulk and her furies ramped up um, She-Hulk also does have access to the slow which you can prevent uh, Juggernaut's unstoppables 
and on her L2, uh, she has access to her uh, Petrify to reverse the power gains. So you can see like I've gotten just smacked or straight out the gate multiple times. Um, I don't know what was going on this fight. There again, I get smacked. My parries were not landing. Here I'm right in the middle of the special and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wipe off my phone. I don't know if it was like, you know, something on my phone or whatever, but I was like, is, this is just not working and I'm getting worked over. And I don't recover from that. Coming out of the pause and I get hit. We go start chaining some uh, heavies. And here, I think I go into a heavy and then I think right here, I go into a heavy into a special two, which normally you can do. He blocks it and then I just get whacked and I die. So that was just terrible, terrible showing with She-Hulk. Um, and I don't know what it is, but like the heavy chain into the specials on She-Hulk, for some champs it works, other champs it doesn't. I'm not certain, maybe I need to stop using that uh, plan. So I felt like the game was just like not registering my inputs. So I restart and I go back in to finish this guy off with Mr. Fantastic. Now I had already used up all but one of the pre-fights. So I do apply the Petrify so I can have that active. Um, don't have a way to uh, to get rid of the unstoppables, but I can prevent them from the special ones because the special ones on Mr. Fantastic has a nullify or a stagger. Um, but we do want to try to keep up that petrify as much as possible. Um, I was waiting out that indestructible. We refresh with the heavy knockdowns for that Petrify. There he gets a power gain. Again, not that bad simply because of the Petrifies in place. It's going to reduce a lot of that power gain. Um, and then there we go. We throw off the special two and it doesn't knock him down fast enough to refresh that original one. So we still only have one Petrify. Um, he throws a special one. We want him to get three specials in a row. Three special ones or three special twos. That's gonna lock in that study passive, give Mr. Fantastic um, a lot more power gain and make that special on that defender hit really, really weak for the rest of the fight um, if it happens to hit you. So um, we do want him to throw this special. There we go, we get locked in. It didn't do all that much damage simply because it was under the careful study passive. And uh, we're letting all those those prowess build up. Um, but again, as long as you don't get hit with a special, no big deal. You can have a ton of prowess, but uh, it won't do much damage. You know, it's not through the, through the regular parts of the fight, blocks, hits, all that kind of stuff. You're good to go. Um, but we do get close to the end here, and then we we get well, we get hit there with a the special one. But that was with what 12 prowess, and it hit so weak. Even with all those prowess, it was simply because of the the study passive. But I don't have much health left now. I missed another parry, and uh, we we refresh all of those petrifies. We get a shock on, and here we go. Throws. We need him to throw a special two. Look at those. Look at those prowess. If we got hit, if we got hit by anything, we're gonna get we're gonna get lit. But that's alright. Um, but I think I end up missing a parry somewhere at the very end here. I probably should have thrown my special one to put um, the stagger on to prevent the unstoppable so I don't have to wait out as much and I can just kinda counter his his specials. 5% left, he's at 8%, refresh those uh, power gains, the, the petrifies to reduce the power gain from the petrify. And 1%, and then I go to try to throw a special as he dashes into me and it does not connect. 
and then I get whacked and punished. 1%, I was, I was pretty frustrated on that. And check out how I deal with my frustration. So I'm like, all right, I'll just go back in with um, Kingpin. And I sit here, and this was like almost two minutes long. I fast forwarded through it, but there was a connection issue. I'm like, ugh. So I'm just like, I'm just kind of heavy. Like, all I gotta do is hit him once. And he just would not come at me. So I'm like, all right, let's try that again. No, nope, I'm not gonna come. And then I try to charge and he just smacks me. And I'm like, all right, fine. We get enough power to just throw a special one and we tap him over. <laughs> so yeah, that was that fight was extremely frustrating. Died with, died with She-Hulk. I felt like I had input issues and then die at the end against using with Mr. Fantastic and I was just, yeah, anyways. But uh, we got him down. Yeah, we had more connect connection issues after that fight. I don't know, I've been having a lot of Wi-Fi wi connection issues. Obviously it's not my Wi-Fi, it's the game, but lately it's been happening more. Uh, last up, we're gonna go in uh, with Archangel, um, he can shut down the power snack node. We're gonna uh, throw on uh, Apocalypse Horseman. We have Ghost Rider for um, an extra like perfect block synergy. And we're just gonna wait out this first unstoppable. Parry heavy. Granted I get hit there. Again, I'm like, I just feel like my blocking and my parry timing and stuff is just been off this this week since this weekend update um, so yeah here we go and totally eat that special one there's nothing better than just getting hit in the face sometimes to really say okay time to time to turn it on play play well we get tons of good um, RNG on getting the neurotoxins up totally shut down the uh, aggression prowess it's totally shut down the power snack and we're just melting this guy um, if anything getting hit got us into courage range so we got a little bit of extra attack um, but yeah he is just about melted and archangel always a, always a solid option for a lot of uh, fights where you don't really want to have to deal with nodes but hopefully this gives you a few ideas of how to take down this guy um, there's definitely lots of options to do it. Um, I mentioned a few earlier, but I hope you enjoyed. Hopes, hopes this helped, and thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.